Hey guys, it is Faith. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So lately I've been making a lot of videos about being a UGC content creator, which also means user-generated content. And it's a new wave of marketing where people create content for brands to use in social media posts or ads. And a lot of people are really curious about getting started, whether you're a micro-influencer trying to get in the UGC space or you just like taking videos and photos and you wanna work with brands. It sounds so exciting, you wanna jump into it and get started, but you don't necessarily know what you need to have to get started. So I hope this video helps to show what kind of things I use on a day-to-day -day basis or the items that I use, software I use, to create user-generated content for brands. Before I go through this list, I wanna point out that you do not need every single thing on this list. I'll definitely point out the essential items that you need. This is just kind of the list that I've curated for myself over time. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I feel like this is like the number one thing you need to have because it's so essential. I have one, two, three, four, five, six different tripods. This is the first one that I have. This is a ring light tripod. It goes super, super bright. This is like the brightest it can get. Um, I really like this, not only with user-generated content, but filming my YouTube videos. Highly recommend this, especially if you are in an area where you don't have the best like natural lighting. If you have amazing natural lighting, you might not even want to have this huge ring light, um, but it's super convenient, especially if you have to shoot something last minute, like in the dark or at night. So these are detachable. These are like the cool or like the white light. And here's the bag it actually came in so it's by mount dog um i'll show you the orange little pieces it goes on there you just literally put it on the light like that but this definitely holds like the entire ring light and the tripod this definitely breaks down way smaller so it's easier to transport okay so if you don't like the big ring light tripod i highly recommend getting a smaller one you have to have some kind of lighting in your little toolkit for user generated content. This is one of my favorites. This is like a nice little tabletop ring light. This is very portable. This actually has the different lighting modes right here and it's actually a USB attachment. You can use your laptop with this to power it, but again, it's just like a simple like little tripod nothing too fancy having a good tripod is super important to me this is really good if you're just getting started but if you want to make that investment i highly recommend a nicer tripod got this one from best buy literally love this tripod so much i use it for everything now so the way you like loosen and tighten is just through this handle and then you just go like that to tighten it. And then you actually have this little screw right here. So this will go in the bottom of your camera or your phone mount, which I will get to in a second. And you just place it in here and then um, you go like that to close it. This is definitely a lot sturdier than this tripod. It's not super reliable. You know that this isn't gonna go anywhere with it tightened the way that this is versus this where you kind of have to like twist this little handle and sometimes it won't tighten. It's a little weird on this one, very, very basic. Okay, so speaking of the little phone mount, cause most of the time you're going to be filming content from your phone. It has a little screw at the bottom. So you literally just screw this piece on top of your tripod. And the cool thing I like about this is a lot of like cheap, phone mounts are made where you like stretch the phone into its desired length and then it just claps on. This you actually have to loosen and tighten with this screw. And now it's not gonna go anywhere. So I really like that and then I just put it on the tripod and then with the tripod I can angle it down or up, whatever I need to do. Literally this and like the nicer tripod, that combo, cannot be beat. And a lot of times the tripods don't come with a foam mount and if they do, they're like really cheaply made. So I highly recommend getting a separate attachment. I saw this from TikTok, ordered it on Amazon, but this is what it looks like. It's super compact. Like you can literally just throw this in your purse. So it's perfect for like content days. This is actually a Bluetooth remote. So you actually like unhook that and then you can take pictures with your Bluetooth with this remote and you actually pull from the top here, pull the legs out a little bit, and just like that, you can literally get one that's as big 
as this tripod if you wanted to, but I wanted more of like a tabletop one. You can change it from this to this, depending on the orientation of your video. But if you're a content creator or like even a micro influencer, I highly recommend this. Watch this. Go like this. And it closes up just like that. Super portable, but I'll link all of this down below. A lot of this is from Amazon or Best Buy, but that is like my top essentially you need with UGC content creation, ring light and tripod. So another thing you need to get started with UGC content creation is some sort of camera, preferably your phone. This is my iPhone 12 Pro Max, super great camera. If you have an iPhone with a good camera or any kind of phone, if it has a good camera, I, you're better off just using this. Again, user-generated content is like relatable, real content. You don't need like super cinematic shots. If your camera's not that good, then maybe this is your sign to upgrade to a new phone. But a lot of your work is with your phone, whether you're filming, editing, connecting with brands, with other creators, your phone's gonna be super essential, so you wanna have a really good phone for that. One last tool, and I had to mention this because I really, really like this tool. Again, not super essential, but it is my laptop stand. Literally get this on Amazon. You probably have seen this on TikTok before. I love this laptop stand so much. I wanna say this was less than 30, maybe $40. It's really good for the wrist when you're on your computer all the time. Um, and it makes your posture a lot better when you use this because your laptop's not like flat on the ground so you don't really have to crouch and it's like super natural when you're typing stuff out. I really like this and I also like using this when I am not on my desk and I'm using my computer on my lap. I don't necessarily want my laptop on my lap because it overheats and just not a lot of good benefits with that. So I highly recommend this if you have some wiggle room in your budget to go for this or if you're an avid laptop user, I highly recommend just getting this for your desk. I mean, it doesn't take up a lot of space and I use this every single day so it's a great investment for me. So now we're moving on to the software and the first thing I highly recommend is getting a new email address, creating a new Google account. Personally, I use Google because it has Google Drive and that's what I use to share my footage and sheets and all that kind of stuff to clients. And if you use Google too, I highly recommend the $20 a year plan for the 100 gigabytes of storage. It's gonna be worth it, I promise you. I do know you do get a free 15 gigabytes, so if you're kind of more on the budget, maybe you can write that out a little bit. And if you're making this a business, it could be a great write-off. Okay, so the reason why I personally recommend getting a fresh email address is because more than likely your personal email is already flooded with random ads or personal or even work stuff. So having a separate account just specifically to collaborate with brands, you're not gonna feel super overwhelmed with the amount of emails you get mixed in with your day-to-day -day emails. So of course, when you're making user-generated content, you're gonna have to edit the content at some point, whether you're doing simple cuts, adding text, transitions, voiceovers, you're gonna need some sort of video editing app to get familiar with so you can constantly pump out content and send it off to brands. Now, there's a lot of different editing apps out there. Personally, I use Final Cut because I already edit my YouTube videos with Final Cut Pro, but it's a $300 software and not a lot of people have that kind of budget. So you don't have to use Final Cut. I know a lot of people use CapCut or Splice and that's a mobile app that you can easily edit your videos straight from your phone. You don't have to import onto a computer or any of that kind of craziness. Also, iMovie is really good. So I highly recommend doing some research on some editing softwares that are curated to your needs. Again, CapCut and Splice are really good. Personally, I've never used these apps because I already do video editing. I edit YouTube videos. I've been using Final Cut Pro for years. Also, if you wanted to, another good alternative is TikTok's new editing studio feature is amazing. You can literally pick the audio, cut the clips, add the text, and then you can just screen record the TikTok and send it off to brands. If that's what you're familiar with editing your TikToks with, is just straight on the app. You can totally do that. Now the next thing that I am a huge fan of, and I know other fellow creators are as well, is using the Notion app. If you are new to my channel, I am obsessed with Notion. I've made a couple videos about Notion already. I actually made a dedicated video to how I organize my freelancing life 
on Notion, how I organize the client projects, brand collaborations, the whole nine yards. So I highly recommend checking out that video. But if you're not familiar with Notion, it's basically a organizational app. You can make a calendar, you can create sheets, you can create to-do lists. There's so many things that you can do with Notion. I highly recommend researching it if you've never used it. This next software I actually just started using. So it's again, not super essential, but it's actually saved a lot of time and effort on my end and that is the HoneyBook app. I use this for contracts and for invoices and basically like project management. I'm just getting familiar with HoneyBook so I don't know all of the features it has but for me personally I use it to write off invoices, I use it to create contracts. Sometimes a brand will already have a contract or an outline in place for you to sign so you can totally sign using that document but sometimes you're the one that needs to create the contract or have some kind of like guideline for you and the brand to agree on. It doesn't have to be a super legal contract. But HoneyBook actually has templates for content creators, for brand collaborations, for service providers, and I kind of refer off to that template and then you're able to edit your own contract to your own wording or specific to the project that you're potentially going to be working with with that brand. And there is a feature on there where you can update the status of that client so you can keep track of all the projects and all the invoices you have with each client which I find super helpful. I know they have like a seven day free trial you can try out and then you can pick out one of their payment plans. I actually have a referral link down below so if you guys are checking that out or interested in using HoneyBook I have that down below. It's no extra cost to you but it helps support me which is really cool. It's not sponsored at all. I just literally figured out oh I have a referral code so I thought I would share with you guys. So with that I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and this kind of helped on what to buy in order to get started with user generated content. Don't forget to subscribe for more UGC related videos and don't forget to follow my socials. I'll also link that down below. Everything that I've mentioned in this video will be linked down below. But with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye!